Good evening, Guam. J.D. Iriarty here with your local sports. We're heading to the end of the Guam Masters baseball tournament, and tonight we take a look at last night's game between the Zonia Masters and the Jigo Typhoons. Here's Robert Balahaja with more. Masters tournament going on last night between the Jigo Typhoons and the Zonia Masters. We pick things up in the first inning where the Jonia Masters' Bill Kanga puts the Masters on board, notching a two RBI double, bringing home Vince Uggen and Ben Kanga. Here we have Ben Kanga bringing in run number two for the Jonia Masters. Still here in the first inning, number 12, Joey Conway, also dipping into the RBI column, also notching a two RBI double. Conway was able to bring home number nine, Joe Cruz, and number 10, Jesse Cruz. Late in the first inning, one of the errors committed by the Masters turns into a stolen base for the Jigo Typhoons number 22. The Jigo Typhoons waiting for a spark from their offense to finally get on the board when number 99 Jesse Miner proves he's still got it in him, notching a 2 RBI double. Miner brings in the first two runs of the Jigo Typhoons late in the first. Action started early for both teams as number 32 Joey Lapola hits a deep ball to the center right gaining an RBI triple. He brings in number 99, Jesse Miner. A great play at bat as number 23 brings home a runner to keep the first inning score close. After a Jonia Masters error, he is safe. More action from the Jonia Masters to start the second inning. Vince Uggen stealing base to inch the Jonia Masters closer. Ben Kanga stepping up to bat, bringing Uggen home and able to grab second base. Weather starting to look dim, but not before the Jigo Typhoon's error that brings in another run for the Jonia Masters. And then the rain started to pour. The rain didn't stop for a good 30 minutes. The game was actually almost called off. The score at this point was 9-4 in favor of the Jonia Masters, middle of the second inning. The game resumed after the rain cleared up, and the Jonia Masters take this game with a final score of 16-6. Reporting for Sports Watch, I'm Robert Balahaji. The Guam National Youth Football Federation will be hosting their second annual health fair this Saturday, May 29th. We'll keep you posted on more event details this, as this Saturday and the week rolls on. In NBA news, the Orlando Magic will survive elimination against the Boston Celtics winning game four, 96 to 92 in overtime. Orlando's Dwight Howard was the top performer with 32 points, 16 rebounds, and four blocks to keep the magic alive. That'll do it for sports. I'm J.D. Ariarty, traffic and weather after the break.